Good morning, everyone. It's Art Day. It is Sunday. It's the 3rd of October. This is a Simon Holden for Holden's Horses. Haven't seen you since the sports bar. So much has happened. Well, we went to grab a grand and we got off to an absolute Scarborough flyer, didn't we, with real world. Now, here's the thing. I did say about coming on early on Friday afternoon, I believe these horses were going to be back. The prices we got on Real World, who went off five to four, four to one into five to four. The horse was given a peach by Frankie and we didn't stop there. We went straight into True Shan, giving it 11 to four. He's gone off 11 to 10. The doiler has ridden well, fantastic. And the horse has stormed clear as I knew he would. And then he got very, very tense. We've already landed 20, 23 to one, I think double. All going on fear B. He finished second. We caught one. It was a great race. Don't think Ryan Moore did anything wrong. Just bumped into uh, one there. Huge field. Fear B. And it all went on the old vintage Clarets. I have no idea what Paul Hannigan was doing. The idea was to get across to the far rail uh, like Chipotle, the winner, did. I think he tried, to be fair. The horse was very, very fresh. Uh, Ran like an inexperienced horse, didn't it? So, uh, you know, fear be had that one, we would have been crushed, wouldn't we? But we got a big double, good profit on the bet. Uh, exciting uh, Saturday afternoon, particularly when the second one went in, of course. I was at Ascot where it rained and rained and rained. Um, so there you go. Watching the other meetings gave me a bit of cheer. A uh, thoroughly miserable experience, but there you go. Now, got a huge day today, and loads of you have come across to the club. If you do get in the club, HFC club, it's free. There is a Paris Longchamp lucky 15, including a bet in the art. Now, of course, anti-post, we are on the Japanese horse. I keep calling it Deep Impact. It's not called that, of course. Deep Impact was the, ho uh, the sire so let's quickly go and find out what it's actually called. But the ground is soft. Now we're on at 25s, of course. Um, deep bomb, it's called. Now, we're going to back it. Mikhail Barcelona is still confident. We don't know that it won't go on the ground, of course. We don't know that it won't go on the ground, but it's never encountered ground this soft. And looking at what they're saying, it's going to be very, very soft. So small each way if you're not on. If you're on, there's no point in doom and gloom. Um, it's an anti-post. I still think it could go on the ground. If it does, it's got stamina in abundance. I think Barcelona will be aggressive. It's either going to go on it or it's not. We're on at a big price. Uh, but I have got a further bet in the arc. So come on over and you will get it. You've come over in record numbers. The HFC Club email goes out every day. So come and get closer to me and the HFC club. Now, I've got a bet for us at Utoxeter in the first race. However, why am I here like the tartan tipster? Um, so yesterday, talking about Ascot, doom and gloom. Should they have raced? A couple of people came up to me. Nice to say hi. Uh, had a beer or two for research purposes. And I made the point. It was probably safe to race. Is that form worth anything yesterday? Probably not. Uh, the horses were finished so slow you could have walked past them. But uh, as my old punting mate in Scarborough, Malton, Brian Sparks used to say, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Although, of course, that he said that before his accident. Um, right. Why am I getting back to the plan? Why am I uh, I'm, 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 uh, rambling? But there you go. We all like a walk on a Sunday. I am stood like here like the tartan tipster, Jimmy Welsh. But no, the reason is because everyone's looking at the arc and there is that big club lucky. We've got a better Utoxita. But I am going to Kelso to try and land a 10 to 1 win double on two max bets. That's right. While all the racing eyes are on Paris I am going to the borders, Kelso, for two max bets. Very, very strong. Very strong. I've got good connections with both yards, and uh, they've come up trumps time and time and time again. They both go on the same day. So what we've done is we've combined them into one bet. Now, do them as two singles and do them as a win double. You can get both now at the top link for just £5. They're ready and waiting for you. Let's have it away and the borders today 
two max win bets. Okay, there you go. Can't be any clearer. This is a big, big bet for me. Um, so come and join me. Top link. And give me the thumbs up. Right, we're going to go to you, Toxita, for a bet in the first race, which is the 137. I like you, Toxita. It's going to be good to soft ground. It's a maiden hurdle. It's not a great race, but there's one at a price that I do like here. Uh, we had a Sue Smith horse the other day at Hexham um burrow saint which got beat the two were miles clear i don't think it was given a great ride uh the the leader rather slipped the field i still think burrow saint is one for your notebook but what it did show me is that the yard are certainly well forward and they run here a horse called wolf run wolf run now this is a decent price i think it's 14 so i'm going to give you a live ch uh, price check now it's the 14s has gone you can still get 12s though across the board so wolf run Number eight on your race card, Ryan Mania takes the ride for uh, Sue Smith. Now, this one has been unplaced in both starts. Well beaten behind Mount Stewart, but it was eight to 16 in a bumper race. Now, this horse was always going to be a hurdler. It's by presenting out of a generous mare. And I know that this is quite well thought of. This is not a great race. Um, it's six years old now. It's time to get going with this horse, really. And uh, I think Wolf Run at 12 to 1 is a real HFC darken here. The favourite is Unanswered Prayers, but I'm not sure about the Chris Gordon Yard. They had quite a few stuffed in the last few days that were well fancied. Uh, second favourite, Immortal Flame. Well, that's only had one run. That didn't pull any trees up. I, I think that this Wolf Run has come here under the radar here. Uh, and with the yard well forward, this is the time of year coming up to the first Weatherby meetings where this yard tends to have a glut of winners. They also like to send hurdlers to Utox where they are now. Ryan Ma Mania takes the ride. I think 12 to 1 is worth a small each way on the Wolf Run, hoping that this will roar today at Utox and get us off to a flyer. Right. Get yourself in the club. If you're not, you've got your ARC email there. Uh, all bets at Longshore. It's a win, lucky 15 uh, on the comeback trail. Really am. It's the only trail to follow is a comeback one. Uh, we Saying that, we had a great sports bar, of course. So thank you for everybody who watched that and give the thumbs up. Two big winners and the importance of those early prices on True Shan and Real World was really well uh, shown, wasn't it? Huge gambles. I knew they were going to be backed over that on Friday. We got on early. I'm off to Kelso. To land a big win Donald double currently 10 to 1. The Tartan boys will be up there. And then when that's done, all eyes focus on Paris for what's going to be a fantastic day of group races. You've got the Abbe, uh, Presel Marcel, Boussac, got some fantastic uh, supporting races for that. What is the world championship one mile and a half? The arc. We've already got a big anti post on the Japanese horse, Mikhail Barcelona. Will he be aggressive from the front? But there is another win bet in that race for club members. It's going to be a great day. Well done, everybody, on Friday. Big 23 to 1 double landed at those early prices. Let's keep it going today because, as Brian Sparks used to say, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep it HFC. Have a great Sunday. Have a great art day.